Welcome to Beer Corner USA's Beers of the Week. I'm Chris Patini. I'm Patrick Wolf. And uh, I think it's time for a little um, 2014 year in review. A little recap? Little, yeah, a little recap. I think it's been a great year. We've had a lot of awesome breweries come in. Right. Um, we've got a lot of good stuff coming from Draft Magazine and, and, and the likes. In fact, I'm trying to figure out what I think you and I were doing, I uh, pulled this up and uh, it's their beer, new beers resolution. And one of them they said is to try beers with Equinox hops. Okay. The first beer in our draft 2015 new beers resolutions is August Shell Brewing Co.'s Fresh Hop Equinox from August Shell Brewing Company in New Ulm, Minnesota. The brewery was founded in 1860, and this beer comes in at 5% ABV. All right, so the Equinox Fresh Hop, like Session IPA. Shells. From Shells. Fresh Hop Pilsner. It's a Pilsner, but it almost kind of almost gets that, to me, IPA-ish, mm. just because those are new hops. Yeah. You know, part of what this uh, article was saying and I thought was kind of unique was the only way to find out what a new hop tastes like is to drink a beer that uses it. Right. And Shells has been really good at experimenting by putting one new hop into a beer, and a lot of breweries doing that, mm. so. I remember last year they did Mosaic hops, uh, which are kind of spicy. This is a little bit more dank. I like it. Yeah, and it, it's kind of fruity, too, though. I mean, it's mm. got a really nice, subtle... Um, just a really subtle but hoppy taste to it. I like it a lot. Mm-hmm. Finish is nice and clean. Uh, yeah, that's that's a really easy drink of beer. I could crush this stuff all day. It's delicious. You know, I always get worried when you say you're going to crush a beer because you never know when you're just going to like, like on our Oktoberfest <laughs> video and it's gone. Uh, well, that's Oktoberfest. That's, that's, that's different. True. That's true. That's different. Well, our friends at Shells, who, uh, if you guys are looking forward to 2015, I know I'm looking forward to stuff in 2015. Right, Omaha Beer Week coming up. Right, they are our, this year, um, craft beer paired dinner sponsor. Right. So, uh, I'm looking forward to that I one. I know they made some beer specifically for that event, yeah, so. they made some beer for it. They came and they collaborated with Infusion here in town, so, cool. So it's going to be a good time. Good things are coming in 2015. Cheers to Shells. Cheers. The next beer in our Draft Magazine New Beers Resolution is Stone's Master of Disguise from Stone Brewing in Escondido, California. The brewery was founded in 1996, and this beer comes in at 9.7% ABV. You know, the other thing for me, I think, is big for my new beer resolution this year is to try new beers, new styles, and stuff that maybe I'm not used to. You know, you, we've been lucky enough being here on Beer Quarter USA to try a lot of stuff. Sure. And you get lucky to try a lot of things that even don't make it to, the, to, to me sometimes because in Beertopia you guys will get small numbers of things and, and get to try stuff. Right. Um, but just to encourage, every, I encourage everyone to try, try new beers. So I thought it'd be fun today to grab this beer, um, the Master of Disguise from Stone. That's an excellent choice. Because it's a stout, but not your normal stout. I call it an Imperial Golden Stout. So they're using coffee and chocolate to mimic the flavor of a stout. However, it's a very light in body ale. Yeah, that uh, doesn't look like any stout I've ever poured yeah, before. Yeah, flaked oats for body and texture. It's, uh, I've had this beer. It's very, I have very too, good. It's actually. Very good. I just wanted to also show everybody else this beer too because um, it's it, black IPAs for a long time were the cool thing because they, they bucked the trend. Right. And, and now you've got golden stouts and this isn't the first one I've seen either yeah if you close your eyes oh yeah no. it almost smells like you're you know, you're sniffing on an imperial stout there all that coffee all that chocolate in fact even if you don't look at it it even has that mouthfeel mm-hmm. like a stout I mean the, the name is there the name of this beer master of disguise was a brilliant name yeah, you know it's just I agree. it's I agree. just really really a great a great name for a beer I just uh, you know, just exactly. Yeah, There's some good things coming from their stoicity project there. They had the hibiscus Belgian ale not too long ago. This is great. I love coffee, so this is a really nice choice for coffee lovers. Uh, what are you doing, Chris? Untapped. We got it. We're filling it. No, uh, untapped. I'm checking into my beer. Oh, okay. That's Here one we... of the other things. If you've never done it for uh, New Beer's resolution, Get the app, Untapped, 
find a way to track your beer and rate your beer and hang out and do all of that. And uh, there it is right there, Master of Disguise. Checking it in. Checking it in right here during Beers of the Week. I mean, I might even get a badge. Who knows? <laughs> Anyhow, great beer from Stone. Right I on. think this is a... Uh, we're checking it in right here at Max and Joe's Belgian Tavern. All right, now... Going, what are they doing about to drink, right? One of the other cool things on the, this uh, Draft Magazine article for uh, their beer, the New Beer's Resolution that I'm horrible about, number two, stop hoarding beer, and number three, keep it fresh. So I figured now that these guys are here in Nebraska, we could crack open this two and a half year old can of 1050 that I've been sitting out at home because I didn't know when I'd be able to buy it regularly. I'm not opposed. Not opposed to seeing how it tastes after no. that long? No. All right, let's do that then. The last beer in today's feature is 1050 from Oscar Blues Brewing in Longmont, Colorado. The brewery was founded in 1999, and this beer comes in at 10.5% ABV. Yeah, so Oscar Blues debuted last Friday, at least that Beertopia, and, and draft around the city. And we know that very, very soon they will be coming to a beers of the week near you because the guys want to come chat with us a little bit about what's going on tell you what for two and a half years in the can that carbonation held out it's pretty darn good up, yeah that doesn't taste unlike 10 or smell like 1050 i should say you just recently had some too remember? yeah i had some this weekend so yeah. how is it how's it different to you you know it's there's a little bit less of a hop presence in the aroma that I'm Well, after two and a half on. years, right. I'm sure any of hops course. that were in there are long gone. It's a bit sweeter, just a bit sweeter. Without than, that hops to mm -hmm. maybe balance it out? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it seems like it ages well. No oxidation, just good body, carbonation still there. Right? I mean, it's, it's, it's not bad. So maybe I don't need to worry about my hoard, I don't know. Maybe I do too, but still. Yeah, maybe. Certain beers are worth selling, certain beers are not, you know, it's, it's the way it goes. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think that this was kind of a neat idea, thanks to Draft Magazine on that. I, we really, though, should probably thank Draft Magazine of something else, though. 100 best beer bars? For the seventh year in a row. Since 2009, Beer Corner USA has made Draft Magazine's list of the 100 best beer bars in America. Um, thanks to all of you guys. Thanks to Draft. Um, I think it's awesome we get to work with cool people. Yeah. Uh, it's, I, kudos, kudos. Yeah, I, it's, I, it's definitely I, an honor. I, I, it's, it's an honor and a half, yeah, for sure. And one of the last things for me, at least, that was on here that um, I thought was pretty sweet was it talked about taking beer vacations, going places to drink beer. That's something I need to do. And I, yeah. I've been lucky enough this last year, I got to go to Oregon, which was fun, did a little Germany and Austria. I'm looking forward to this year. I want to do some more tra traveling in the Netherlands. Um, I don't know, any places that you're really hoping to go drink some beer? I really just need to get into the Colorado scene, you know, kind of just get out there and check out everything they've got. Nice. Fort Collins, Denver, you know, just yeah. make a two week vacation of it. Just, I'd like to, for stateside, I really would like to hit Great Lakes, mm, yeah. and I'd really like to go check out Asheville, North Carolina this year. Yeah. I think yeah. that sounds like a fun place as well. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess I'm also really excited for uh, Omaha Beer Week this year. Yeah. So, I don't know. Happy new beers to you. Likewise. Heaven, there is no beer. No beer. That's why. Our friend.